Chapter 7 Introducing MS Excel 2016 Learning Outcomes At the end of this chapter, students will be able to Know the feature of Excel Enter data and perform calculations in a worksheet Learn types of data Save a workbook Warm up Ram has got the mark sheet of his first term examination. He has to calculate his total mark. Help him to do the task. Teachers, note! Apprise the students that in the above activity text and numbers have been organized in rows and columns which are can be defined as a spreadsheet. Also, inform them this task would have been very easily done in Microsoft Excel by applying simple formulas. Hello friends, let's learn about the MS Excel and its various type of data features. Let's learn to enter them data into it. Microsoft Excel is a popular spreadsheet. A spreadsheet can be defined as a text and numbers that have been organized in rows and columns. It is widely used to perform mathematical calculations. It also provides features such as formulas, functions and data analysis tools that make it easier to deal with a large amount of data. Do you know, Excel was the first software that introduced a toolbar. Features of MS Excel 2016 Excel has built-in formulas and functions to do calculations, easy data entry and sorting of data. Searching and replacing data can be quick. When we make a change at one place in a worksheet, the entire spreadsheet is automatically recalculated. Data can be represented in charts and graphs for comparing the data effectively. By using the autofill option, quick data entry can be done in a large series of cells. Let us learn how to start MS Excel 2016. Starting Excel 2016 Follow the following step to start MS Excel 2016. 1. Click on the Start button. 2. Scroll down to find Excel 2016. 3. Click on it. 4. The Excel 2016 window appears. Components of MS Excel 2016 window Cell A cell is an intersection of rows and columns. It is the smallest unit in a worksheet and text, as well as numbers can be written in it. Each cell has its unique cell address identified by its column letter and row number. Let me answer. State the difference between a remote cell and the cell in MS Excel. Worksheet A worksheet in MS Excel is a collection of cells organized into rows and columns. A single worksheet has 1,48,576 rows and 16,384 columns. Work Book An Excel is called a workbook. By default, the file name of a new workbook is Book 1. There are many worksheets in a single workbook. We can add it, delete, hide and rename these worksheets. Components of a worksheet 1. Title Bar Locate at the top of the Excel window. It displays the name of the currently opened workbook. 2. Address Bar it shows the address of the active cell. 3. Sheet tab. It is present at the bottom left side of the Excel window. It shows the number of worksheets in a workbook and the active sheet. By default, the name of the worksheet are Sheet 1, Sheet 2 and so on. 4. Active cell. The cell which is currently selected and surrounded by a thick black border. The data can be typed into an active cell only. 5. Horizontal scroll bar and vertical scroll bar. They are used to scroll the worksheets up and down or left and right to view the entire sheet. 6. Formula bar. The content of the active cell is shown here. Data or formulas can be typed or edited in the formula bar. 7. Status bar. It is present at the bottom of the Excel window. It displays the name of the selected command or status information. 8. Columns Heading Vertical section of the table which is numbered with alphabetic values such as A, B, C and so on. Each column has its identification with its column number such as A1, A2 and so on. 9. Rows Heading 
horizontal section of the table which is numbered with numeric values such as 1, 2, 3 and so on. 10. Cell addresses Cell address shows the column letter and row number of each cell. For example, D3 is the cell address referring to the cell with the column D and row 3. Remember it! Microsoft considered many other names before finally landing on Excel. Other serious considerations were Mr. Spreadsheet and Master Plan. Creating a new worksheet Follow the following step to create a new worksheet. 1. Click on the File tab. A backstage view appears. 2. Click on New and a blank workbook will be displayed with Sheet 1 as default worksheet. Data Entry Follow the following step to enter the data in MS Excel. 1. Click on the cell. 2. Type the text or numbers. 3. Press the Enter key. Types of Data Three types of data can be entered in a Microsoft Excel worksheet. 1. Numbers Values that have numerals from 0 to 9 and the characters like plus, minus, exclamatory mark and many more. These can be used in calculations. By default, numbers are right aligned in a cell. 2. Text Text can contain data like alphabets, numbers, spaces and special characters. It is not used in calculations. By default, the text is left aligned in a cell. 3. Formula It is mathematical equation which calculates the value of the cell. They can range from basic calculation to complex calculation. Remember formula begin with an equal to sign. Doing calculations in a worksheet The most efficient feature of MS Excel is to perform calculations by creating formula. Formulas perform mathematical calculation on the data values stored in a worksheet. The result of the calculation is displayed in the cell where the formula is entered. We can use simple or complex mathematical formula or formula in Excel. In the example given below, formula will be applied to do the addition of values. Formula is equal to C3 plus D3 plus E3 and press enter. Formula is enter is cell F3. Saving a workbook. Follow the following step to save a workbook. 1. Click on the File tab. 2. Select the option Save or Save As. Opening a workbook. Follow the following step to open a saved workbook. 1. Click the File tab. 2. Click the Open option and open the dialog appears. 3. Browse and navigate to the folder to open the saved workbook. 4. Select the file and click the Open button. Closing a window. Follow the following step to close the workbook. 1. Click the File tab. 2. Click on the Close option. 3. The current workbook will close. The above steps will close the workbook, but to close the Excel window, click on Exit or press Alt plus F4. Kids IQ Raman has to enter the formula for calculating the marks. He does not remember the sign he needs to add before writing the formula. Suggest him to sign by which he can complete the task. Let's recall. A cell is an intersection of rows and columns. A worksheet in Excel is a collection of cells organized into rows and columns. An Excel is called a workbook. By default, the text is left aligned in a cell. The most efficient features of MS Excel is to perform calculations by creating formula. Upskill your intelligence. A. Fill in the blanks. 1. Microsoft Excel is a popular dash. Answer. Spreadsheet. 2. Excel has built-in formulas and functions to do dash. Answer. Calculations. 3. A cell is an intersection of dash and dash. Answer. Rows and columns. 4. A single worksheet has dash rows and columns. Answer. 1,48,576 and 16,384 columns. 5. The cell which is currently selected and surrounded by a thick black border is called dash. Answer. Active cell. B. Label the components of the MS Excel windows. Answer. 
student will do it themselves. C. Write T for true statements and F for false statements. 1. Formula is a mathematical equation which calculates the value of the cell. Answer True. 2. Two types of data can be entered in a Microsoft Excel worksheet. Answer False. 3. There is a single worksheet in a workbook. Answer False. 4. The file in Excel is saved with an extension Excel SX. Answer True. 5. To close the Excel window, we press Alt plus F3. Answer False. D. Answer the following questions. 1. Write any three features of MS Excel 2016. Answer 1. There are three features of MS Excel 2016 that A. Easy data entry and sorting of data. B. Searching and replacing data can be quick. C. Excel has built-in formulas and functions to do calculations. 2. Write the components of a worksheet. Explain any three. Answer. The components of a worksheet are 1. Address bar. It shows the address of the active cell. 2. Formula bar. The contents of the active cell are shown here. Dates or formulas can be typed or edited in the formula bar. 3. Status bar. It is present at the bottom of the Excel window. It displays the name of the selected command or status information. 3. Explain the types of data entered in a Microsoft Excel worksheet. Answer. We can enter three types of data in a Microsoft Excel worksheet. Numbers, text and formula. 4. How can we save a workbook? Answer. Follow the steps to save a workbook. Click on the file tab. Select the option save or save as. 5. What is a cell? Answer. A cell is an intersection of rows and columns. It is the smallest unit in a worksheet and text. As well as numbers can be written in it. Critical thinking. Shahabit has entered the name of the student from cell B1 to B6. Now, he is unable to recognize the column heading. Help him in identifying the column heading in the cell range B1 to B6. Answer. Student will do it themselves. Team, work. Find out the stationary expenses of yours on a daily basis and represent it in MS Excel for two months. Calculate the total expenses in a week and a month. Answer. Student will do it themselves. Fun game. 1. Take your turn and play the game. Full form of RAM. Tiles which show frequently updated information. Denoting a character above the baseline. It helps us to improve our vocabulary by providing a list of synonyms. It consists of the main document and the data source. An area on a slide enclosed by dotted borders. Four types of animations. A name given to a place in the computer's memory. In which app a formula starts with equal sign? Answer. Do it yourself. Fun game 2. Reach the highest level. I provide faster and easier data entering sorting of data. I am www. In this construct, step-by-step -step instructions is followed. The direction in which a document is displayed. Answer. Student will do it themselves. 